Hey guys, we watched every single Toy Story movie and Lightyear. And if you want to recommend something else we can watch on the channel, then we had a Patreon poll and a bunch of other bonus content over there. So you make sure you get to check out the Patreon page. Dude, this is the first Pixar movie. Think about that. This is? Yeah, this is the first Pixar movie. Steve Jobs like f***ing sh this one out by himself i heard hey man he does have crazy work ethic i didn't know he was an animator too well he did he did work on pixar like the company he owned he, he owned pixar he founded it he went to work for pixar he was an intern yeah he was delivering coffee to john lassiter <laughs> <laughs> he's the pizza guy sheriff woody i'm here to stop you one eyed bark What's so whimsical about this is it feels like we're watching a kid play with his toys, but it's like actually like not a real kid, but it's like an animated kid. Yeah, they were able to like create something, but it's like, it's not real. And you watch it and it kind of feels like it's real, but it's not actually real. I wonder what they would call that. Hey, who moved my doodle pad way over here? Ah! How you doing, Rex? Ah! Were you scared? Tell me honestly. I was close to being scared that way. Woody's like a babysitter. Woody is basically like the leader of an orphanage. <coughs> Ow! Wood. Mommy. Woody. Sorry, I'm, I'm still talking about the main character. What do you say I get someone else to watch the sheep tonight? <laughs> Holy Boy, moly. That face, that face. Woody got his first Woody in this scene. Uh, oh, yes. Tuesday night's plastic corrosion awareness meeting. Doesn't plastic like not corrode? Like, isn't that the whole point of it? They are immortal. These people will live for thousands of years, whether or not they want to. Is that what Toy Story 5 is going to be about? Like, it's set in the distant future. It, yeah, it's, it's set like a thousand years in the future. It's like Wally times, but Woody is the only one left. Yes, sir. We're next month's garage sale fodder for sure. Any dinosaur shaped ones? Oh, well, they're just insecure. Andy's gonna give them up the new bitch in town, bro. Oh, and he will. Sergeant, establish a recon post downstairs. Code red. You know what to do. Yep. Yo, the favorite characters. Bro, the army guys. I fucking loved the army guys as a kid. Do you think a lot of, like, the army guys got a lot of kids to enlist in the army? They're like, I'm gonna be just like those toys from Toy Story. A lot of trauma was the result of this movie. <laughs> the advertisement's like, bucket soldiers, now with PTSD included. Okay, second person. It appears to be. Okay, it's bed sheet. Who invited that kid? Bro, they're roasting the kids. Bed sheets as a present is crazy. Who invited this kid? <laughs> Present. It's a big one. It's a, it's a board game. Repeat, Battleship. Battleship goes hard, bro. Woody looks so smug. Woody knows he's not getting a replace. He's Andy's favorite toy. But little did he know. It's a what? What is it? Is this who I think it is? It's the start of the hit film Lightyear starring Chris Pratt. I love the hit film Lightyear. It's such a good movie. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I think I read a letterbox review for Lightyear where it was like, this is the movie Andy watched as a kid that made him love Buzz Lightyear. What I learned is that Andy is a stupid fucking idiot little kid who likes shit movies. <laughs> He's staring at his victim. That is the most beautiful Buzz Lightyear victim I've seen in my goddamn life. Local law enforcement. It's about time you got here. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. He's so hyper roleplay. <laughs> so why is he specifically in roleplay mode, but like no one else ever was? Like, how did this happen? It might be maybe because Buzz comes with lore, whereas the others are like toys for toys' sake. Leave it to Core to solve the problem again. Blah, 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 nerdy little boy. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Hey, Alexa! Laser? How come you don't have a laser, Woody? Bro, these guys are assholes, bro. They're going on PSMV right off the bat. My laser's longer than your laser. Well, my wife thinks my laser is just fine. Thank you very much. Impressive wingspan. Very good. These are plastic. He can't fly. He's so <laughs> jealous. I, lo I love how insecure Woody is. It's, a, it's such a good character trait. I, I like how much taller Woody is than Buzz. No, you know there is so much gay art of shiving Buzz and Woody. Like, so much. I used to draw that as a kid, yeah. What, what was that? Yeah, you can find it on my DeviantArt. Oh, okay, gotcha. Even Woody has to admit, that was pretty cool. That went pretty hard. Wow, you flew magnificently. I found my moving buddy. Bro, she switched up like that. What the fuck? Dude, that's fucked up. Woody will remember that. Put the telltale thing on the screen. Holy shit. She's trading the d for the vibrator going from Woody to Buzz. <laughs> toys are sentient in this world. Does that apply to sex toys? Ooh. Then we're, we're getting eerily close to sausage party territory with that. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Praise the 
<laughs> oh my god. If I was Woody, I would kill myself. I would. This is terrible. Don't let it get to you, Woody. And now she's pretending like she didn't just like go hog wild on Buzz all night. Buzz is a busy man. He's got to go back to space. He wasn't trying to settle. It was like a one night thing. This is a one and done type shit. Don't even think about it, cowboy. Oh yeah, tough guy. <laughs> Damn, he really is into the RP, bro. <laughs> Every D&D podcast needs a Buzz Lightyear, bro. It's the real Buzz Lightyear. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Buzz looking alien! Where? Ah! All the voice acting in this movie is really, really good. Like, you have one of the best actors ever, like Tom Hanks, to play the main character of your first movie. Like, you're set up for success at this point. Like, I liked his performance in Pinocchio better. Oh, all this packing makes me hungry. What would you say to dinner at, uh, oh, Pizza Planet? Pizza Planet? Mom is so hot. Why did I look at chat? Chat, chat, shut up. Bro, I don't think the mom's even finished being rendered. How can you be calling her hot? What is he? He's like plotting and scheming. I don't see anything. I Woody is such a fucking asshole. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, Wilhelm scream. No way they put the Wilhelm scream in there. I mean, Humpty Dumpty was pushed no. by Woody. What? Wait a minute. You. You don't think I meant to knock Buzz out the window, do you? He's gaslighting. He did like straight up just like try and kill his kid. He did do that. Yeah, pretty much. The funny thing is this is the version of the movie where Woody is nicer. They had an older version where he was too mean to the degree that the movie like wasn't enjoyable. Cause he's already so mean. He tries to kill Buzz in the first 20 minutes of the movie. Yeah, he's a pretty evil guy. Mom, do you know where Buzz is? <laughs> That's hilarious. So I do not weird. remember that at all. Mr. Potato, I told the kids. <laughs> How is that allowed? I do Why does Pixar like this anymore, bro? Bring back characters telling other characters to kill themselves. He said it like straight up. He pointed right at him. Oh, that's that's such a good scene. Revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Oh, well, that's good. But we're not on my planet, are we? No. <laughs> Because I, I feel like in a lot of animated movies, they're not allowed to make their characters this unlikable. There is not an animated movie where the main character, Woody, is this unlikable. Like, this is legitimately encroaching on toxic yaoi territory. Look, they're bent over, f spreading eagle. That is crazy. Does he realize that I'm not there? Gee, he's so insecure. He's insanely insecure. He's insecure. Don't know what for. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command. You are a toy! One of the most iconic lines. He's like tweaking, like you can tell from his movements. He's, he's fed up. Oh no. I can't show my face in that room without Buzz. Like that that's why. Like it's it's not the empathy for Buzz. Like social implication of it. Like that's so fucked up about it. You are clear to enter. Welcome to the wow. I know that this is supposed to be like the Chuck E. Cheese kind of stand in place. This is so much cooler than Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. The theme of it is just way cooler. It's like, like who cares about those stupid fucking rats? Oh, these oh, guys. Oh, I love these guys. These are the world's first minions, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Without these guys, minions would never exist. Their skin looks so weird. It's very low resolution. Because you compare, like, the, the texture quality of everything in this movie to Toy Story 4, which is, like, insanely high quality. Like, all the toys are so glossy and insane. It's really cool. Dude, this is not realistic at all. He can't win two things in a row. He can't even win one thing. Let's go home and play. Sid from Toy Story is one of the most demonic looking characters ever designed. Something for you, boy. Oh. Ready, set, go! Oh my god. <laughs> that is terrifying. They're covering up their eyes. I, I love explosives. explosives. Maybe he's not a shooter. Maybe he's a bomber. 
Oh, the baby. Oh yeah, my this, god, this the fucking the thing baby. Oh my god, this shit did fuck me up too. This, this shit, was... shit is mad creepy. This... Oh my god, yeah. Oh my fucking jeez. <laughs> Look at his face. This is just digital circus. These are digital circus characters. It's like, ah, get me away from the Zoomer show. Mayday, mayday. Dude, he is shaking so he's much. Shaking. <laughs> he, this is the most scared he's ever been in his whole life. Dude, I completely forgot like the entire plot of this movie. Like, I forgot that this is what happened. The toys have a fucking story, bro. Like, at the end of the day, <laughs> there's toys and there's a fucking story. That's crazy, man. It is a really good dynamic, though. Woody and Buzz are so iconic. They're, well, they're like such strong personalities. Like, they're both very headstrong. <gasps> See you with a straw. This is giving Hitler, like the way he was walking, <laughs> giving Hitler vibes right now. Oh no. This is a kid who was watching movies that he definitely was way too young to be watching. You know, Sid watched a Serbian film when he was like 10 years old. Right? <laughs> it changed his being. Shut your bitch ass up, Woody! That's what he'd be saying to little Bo Peep, though. Gotta get this wagon train to move it. You know Bo Peep's got the wagon, though. She has that giant dress covering it up, though. Oh, yeah. Planet Earth needs your help! <gasps> oh, my God. Before. This is breaking his worldview right now. This is so sad. What am I? <laughs> Look at him. He's looking at himself. This is him looking in a mirror for the first time. No and beyond. Not a flying toy. <laughs> no, he no! can't fly. No. <laughs> this is so sad. This is fucking depression. It's so real. Available at all Al's Toy Barn outlets. Al's, Al's Toy Barn. Wait, do they go there in this movie? Yeah, in the second movie. Oh, it's the second movie. Okay. Yeah, that's the really creepy guy. To infinity and beyond. If you just believe in yourself, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my Toy Story! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> His arm! Traumatic injury. I would be crying in the theater right now, bro. We weren't even in the womb, bro. Probably wasn't even in the sack yet. Like, I don't know. If you saw this in the theater, you're officially old now. <laughs> Get the fuck off my channel, bro. This is for Zoomers only. <laughs> Would you like some tea, Mrs. Nesbitt? Oh my god, all of her toys are headless. <laughs> That's terrifying. Buzz, hey, Buzz, are you okay? Gone! It's all gone. He's drunk. He's drinking away the sorrows. It's like the video of like Tim Allen getting really drunk and like saying all those slurs. Has anybody like overlaid that over the scene? Editor, do you know what to do? Do you want a set of these ugly fuckers? I don't think so. <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? Fuck you. Woody. What are you doing over there? Here, catch this. Bro, how did he throw that that far? I'm gonna be honest. He's not that strong, bro. This is the first unrealistic part of Toy Story. The immersion's gone. I can't get into it anymore. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. Oh! <laughs> Slink! Slink, please! Please! Slink. Slink is so depressed. He's like, I thought I knew you. No! <laughs> no, Woody's all alone, dude. All alone. Yeah, they're trying to help. Come yeah, on. Yeah, they're actually good. And this is why you shouldn't judge things purely based on appearance. Yeah, don't judge fucking disgusting creatures for being disgusting creatures. The big one. I like how the box had ill eagle on it. This is really on a parenting side. Like, what's going on? Why are you letting your kid buy rockets? I looked everywhere, honey, but all I could find was your hat. What if we leave them behind? This is me when I lost my car's Game Boy game. Your parents just threw it out because the game fucking sucked. We can't have a gamer son with shit taste. We gave him Pokemon Fire Red instead. <laughs> I need your help. I can't help. I can't help anyone. So depressed. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna, I might have to turn my camera off. It's getting a little intense. Dude, I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm gonna bust on the screen. I, yeah, I'm gonna bust too. <laughs> I mean, what chance does a toy like me have against a Buzz Lightyear action figure? What is the improvised interrogation guidebook? This kid is plotting, like, a hostile takeover of the United States with that. Check the January 6th logs. Like, Sid was there. He's definitely there. Wait, Tim Allen spoke out against January 6th? Or was he there? Yeah, I think he, he was an official speaker at January 6th, actually. One of the guest speakers. Yeah, the official guest speakers. <laughs> the running animation is so good. 
See, look how strong he's pushing he's, back he's a dog. He's stronger than a dog. I'm telling you, bro. Put him in death battle. We've got to save him. But I need your help. The baby. I don't want your help. He's like, I was actually talking to everyone but you. <laughs> I was talking to the attractive toys, not you. You unsettle me. Like, you just creep me out. The hooker one's coming with the fish? Oh, the ho oh it's a hooker because it has a hook. <laughs> <laughs> How did you just get that, bro? I didn't even get that till now. Do we ship the hooker and the duck? I think they make a pretty odd couple. Rule 34 of this that we can look up. I feel like there's such niche characters. That Perhaps we should make the editor look up the rule 34 to put on screen. Perhaps the editor should uh, draw it. Woody, great. Help me out of this thing. Shh. What? What if we see like Sid in like a new Toy Story movie and he works for like the NRA or something? Like he's just selling guns or something? He has his own like gun range. Sid took a Xanax and slept off the trauma. He becomes a garbage man. Remember? I don't remember. Toy Story 3, that's where Sid's a garbage man. Did he become a garbage man because he can like indirectly kill toys that way? You know, that's a game theory right there, bro. Right? How'd you get out here? Oh well. You and I can have a cookout later. Oh. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Shut up, you fucking demon spawn. Bro, I swear to God, white boys try to have just a little bit of fun. One! Reach for the sky. Huh? Oh my God, I remember this scene. It's coming back to me. The trauma. The horror. That's right. I'm talking to you, Sid Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would have so much trauma from this. That's right. <laughs> this guy, this is so good. This is so fucking funny. I would lose it. This is such a good way to get back at him. Oh my god. <laughs> the baby. I would never, like, he has so much trauma. He's never gonna touch a toy ever again. He deserves it though. Oh yeah, for sure. No, he does. It's definitely deserved. We toys can see everything. Oh, why'd you have to do the owl head turn, bro? So play nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we traumatized a child. Yay! We did it. We did it. Hooray, child trauma. <laughs> I can't do it. Take care of Andy for me. No. No. The way he stretched out those eyelids <laughs> is so gross. He even sounds devious when he's being good. Get him! Ah! Hurry, Woody, just explain to them. Hurry, Woody, just explain. Look in front of you, fuckheads. Look right in front of you. I'm trying to save him. <sighs> but they're so happy about killing this guy. They're also, like, weirdly not that sad about the fact that Woody just, like, from their perspective, killed another one of their friends. That's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, we didn't fuck with the RC car that much anyways. He was a little racist. It is Buzz. Woody was telling the truth. That thing hauls ass. Yeah, it is literally yeah. <laughs> the speed of a car. That is fucking insane. Woody, speed up! Speed up! The battery! He's running out of battery! He's losing chub, he's losing chub. He's gone soft, Woody. Great! Woody, the rocket! The match! See, if only he was open carrying something. He's got a rocket oh in his God. pocket! <laughs> See, open carrying is good, chat. Oh my... Maybe not. No! The reflection of the light. This is like when you burn the ants. The ants and ant bully. Ant, ant bully. This is the ant bully reference. It looks like Woody's getting back shots in the back. Craziest head of his life. He's getting f***ed in the ass by Buzz in that scene. Like, there is no lies about that. Infinity and beyond. Yo, they're fucking flying. Take cover! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buzz! You're flying! This isn't flying. This is falling. With, With style. style. <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's go. He's so cool, man. He's so cool. We missed the truck. We're not aiming for the truck. I wonder what other object they could be aiming for. The car. Just the car. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking creepy. Isn't that creepy for that child? My toys appeared randomly in the, <laughs> in the box. Great, you found them. Where were they? Here in the car. See? Now what did I tell you? Right where you left them. 
Yo, this movie's gas. This movie is gas. Pixar really is the goat. Like, they never miss, besides when they miss. You know what I mean? Like, besides when they, like, missed for, like, a lot of movies in a row. Sometimes it happens, bro. Yeah, they get on a rough streak. But then they, they dropped Lightyear and they had me right back in their clutches. You're <laughs> mocking me, aren't you? Oh! Oh, Bo! It's gotta be a less painful way to get my attention. Dude, and now she's back at him, like, as if nothing ever happened. Like, come on now. Yeah, but she bad. She bad, though. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Now, Buzz, what could Andy possibly get that is worse than you? Oh, what is it? What is it? Wow, a puppy! Oh, no. Yeah, the ending is literally like a sitcom ending. Woody and fucking Buzz put down Andy's butt. They murder that thing. Womp womp. See, like, the opening to this movie is just what Lightyear should have been. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought you put on Lightyear for a second. I was, I was about to say, I think you put on the wrong movie. <laughs> Come. Oh, Zerg! Zerg. Oh my god, this is Squid Game! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how did he know which is the correct glass piece every No! He didn't know. didn't know, he didn't know. What? He died. It's a video game. I knew it! Okay. The way the room looks is so memorable. Yeah, the star, the starly wallpaper, it really makes you feel like you're an eight-year-old. There's the meme. Oh, f***. Do we miss it? I also miss it. Alright, okay, so for this video, every time there's a meme, I'm gonna do one line of code. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Whoa, that's the meme! <laughs> oh, not in front of Buzz. Let him look. Let him look! <laughs> Holy. Buzz wants to watch. Oh god. Oh. At least it looks slightly better than the first movie's dog. Oh, oh my god. Those eyeballs. Gotcha! <laughs> This is like taming a lion for them. Can we talk <laughs> yeah. about that? <laughs> it's fucking awesome. If I'm not remembering incorrectly, I'm pretty sure at some point he ends up riding the dog like a horse and it's fire. It goes so Yeah, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He does. I remember that scene. But the unstoppable duo of Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Oh no. You broke his fucking arm, you psychopath. Dude, like, he must be screaming in pain. Like, ah! We can fix him on the way. No, just leave him. Just leave him. You broke his fucking arm and leaving him behind, you fucking asshole. Like you can just sew it back together. What do you mean just leave him? His mom doesn't know how to do shit. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh my god. Oh! No. Oh. Yeah, that's so fucking scary. No, that's this terrifying. scene, no! He falls into the sunken place. This shit's scarier than get out. And then he gets, all the arms get him. Yo, this shit is terrifying. Oh, Tweezy! No! Why didn't you yell for help? Well, I tried squeaking, but I'm still broken. This is so oh trash. Oh my god. Oh, bro. No, so he sad. Lost he lost the squeak! Yard sale! Guys, wake up, wake up! There's a yard sale! I just don't like how Woody thinks he's like... He acts like he's the sheriff of the town or something. He you know is! I mean? He literally is the president. Bye, Woody! No way! Oh. No way! No! Okay, boy, to the yard sale! Yeah! Yeah, this is the dog scene fun. Do you remember? Oh my god! I'm so smart, guys. I I'm slipping. <laughs> no! No, he's gonna get given away now. He's gonna be oh, Woody. Oh, he is all messed up. Well, I guess I can give him away. No! Oh yeah, yeah! He takes him. No! The fat guy. The toy collector. It squeaks. I'll, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks ain't bad. I like how Mr. Potato had said, he said 50 bucks ain't bad. Like, he does not care about Woody that much. <laughs> He's always been a Woody hater. <laughs> Time to rob a child. He created like a hitman distraction right there. <laughs> <laughs> The way Buzz fingered that shit open, though, like, <laughs> let's be honest. The feathers, they're a clue. Oh, no, I remember. Doesn't this guy eat, like, Cheetos in this movie, and then he gets all over Woody? No, there's no way, because he's the toy collector. He wouldn't do that. He knows how valuable he is. There's just no way he would do that. Draw that man in a chicken suit. What? <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I need that clip just in general. Jesse! Oh my goodness! I love Jesse. She's great. Mr. White. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I correlated something. 
Oh, this is like forced canon. They're supposed to be together, but he's into Bo Peep instead. Uh, excuse me, he's into Buzz. Thank you very much. Him and Buzz would have been a better couple, personally. But like, True. I'm open to new ideas, personally. Bowley presents. This is like your your Nazi cousins like coming to you and being like, "This is where you're from, bro." Like, <laughs> what are you talking? Who the fuck has a Nazi cousin? Is that a personal experience? <laughs> Who's out here having a Nazi cousin, dude? This is for Woody when you find him. Woo! But that means that he has to kiss Woody. If he wants to fulfill her obligation, he has to kiss Woody. Can we talk about how she kissed Buzz? She probably wants Buzz low key, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. I'm just thinking like, what's preventing this from being like a trio? Like, let the toys be Polly. This is 2001. Bisexuality didn't exist back then. Bro. <laughs> that was invented by the Owl House. Wait, so they're leaving all the women behind and all the men get to go? Yeah. I mean, why cancel it? Two words. Nick. The 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 war, like the space race, they canceled it for the space race. He really emphasized the second half of that word. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you, you push the hat and out co oh, out come bubbles. Clever. <laughs> Old toys were better though. Like they Real. were objectively made out of better material, and also there was no like safety like concerns whatsoever. Toys used to be built different. Bro. Bro, they, that's true, bro. They used to sell Nerf guns at McDonald's, bro. I like freaking shot my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, out of context. I like freaking shot my neighbors. <gasps> he still has an owner. I can't do storage again. I just can't. Just I can't do storage. Is that like a prison allegory? Yes. No, Jesus when they're in storage, Christ. they're just rotting in cages. They've basically just been stuck in solitary confinement for years. Did this Andy break you? Yeah, but no, 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 no. He's, asking, he's like, you have a black eye. Is they an abusive relationship? <laughs> no, no, I just fell down the stairs. Bro, that's me coded, bro. I'd be falling, bro. We, do we need to talk about your partner, Fuzz? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The main attraction. <laughs> no, you idiot. You're ruining it. The worst toy collector of all time. Dude, his hairline is so beautiful. It's, it's something I aspire for. I can't wait till I have that. We have a friend in need. And we will not rest until he's safe in Andy's room. <laughs> America. Oh America. This is like Better Call Saul, bro. He's out here filming a music a commercial. USA. USA. Oh, yeah, Cheetos. I was right. This scene is fucked up. This scene lives in my head rent free. Like whenever I'm walking around at night, I see this man with the Cheetos in my mind. Oh no. Dude, he calls himself a sheriff and he he stepped on the first Cheeto there. Were you not paying attention, dude? <laughs> oh, uh. Does this imply that he has he has saliva? Can they eat? Can the toys eat? Like clearly they don't need to, but like if they want to, can they eat? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No, officer, I swear. What? Huh? What? I the, the kid didn't belong here, officer. He I don't have a kid. What are you talking about? Yeah, the TV just happened to turn on and the remote magically ended up in front of you. <gasps> it was the prospector. Oh my God, it was the old man did it. I don't know how that television turned on, but fighting about it isn't helping. He turned it on. I don't know. I wonder, I wonder, is the villainous guy villainous? Drop! I said drop! Oh my god. This is insane, dude. This is a crossy road. This Bro, they are causing so much damage. People are gonna die. People will die. He's gonna fucking die. No! Bro, he was more towards the middle in the last shot. I yeah, no, I was about to say. They need the, they need the tension. They need the tension. Oh, thank goodness you're here. He looks like one of the guys from you. Do you remember that one like short film they have of the two guys playing chess? Oh, it looks exactly like him. I used to do this with like a cotton swab in my eye and then I like damaged my eyes and then I have to get glasses. This is like a big genre of content on YouTube. Like people just repairing and refurbishing old toys. True. This guy is ahead of the curve, bro. Oh, <gasps> no. Get fucked, Dandy. Get fucked. When I see all the other white reaction channels. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like me. White men with glasses are to be in hypersleep until awakened by authorized oh. personnel. <laughs> <laughs> so is this where the kiss happened? Is this the p scene? Editor, you know what to do. Does anyone know where we might find the Al of Al's toy barn? I can help. Dude, they're picking up mad chicks at Barbie Land. This is the real Barbie movie. F*** you, Greta. I'm a marriage spot. I'm a marriage spot. I'm a marriage spot. I'm a marriage spot. It's one night. All I'm saying, Mr. Potato, it's one night with one broad. Look at his face, dude. Get him <laughs> away from her. 
Wait, that's horrific. This movie is really not good for children with claustrophobia now that I'm thinking about it. Fun. This is definitely what gave me my claustrophobia for sure. Andy's a real special kid. And to him, you're his buddy, his best friend. Oh, yeah, she had, she had a... She was abandoned. She had a Sandy. Another girl <laughs> with daddy issues. Okay, get in line. When somebody loved me. Oh, I remember. I, I cried at this scene as a kid, like, all the time. I, literally, who didn't? <laughs> I think I did, too. I always remembered, like, early Pixar movies, especially having, like, this big heartstring pulling moment. And there was nothing even remotely close to this level of, like, emotional in the first movie. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. nothing even close. I don't know why you guys are, like, upset like this. This is a happy... They're just having fun too. Wait. <laughs> Why would you what? drop her? Bro, you smoke too soon, you dumbass. <laughs> no more horses. Horses get replaced with makeup. <laughs> Fuck you. How many hoarders did this movie create? Like, you, you watch this movie, you're traumatized as a child. You are never throwing a toy away ever again. That's what happened to me. Is this sadder than Matt Pat quitting? No, nothing sadder than Dude, that. Matt Pat quit like 10 seconds ago. This has been emotionally affecting us for 20 years, okay? <laughs> get in line. Do you really think Andy is going to take you to college? Or on his honeymoon? Foreshadowing? Foreshadowing? If it's like Ted, he will. I promise the collection will be the crown jewel of your museum. <gasps> it's Woody. Did he say, Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Did you say that? <laughs> I think he did. Wait, I completely missed this. Is this like the buzz that we know and the other guy just took his place? Yes. Dude, he is built different. What the fuck? He's a gymnast. He is an athlete. This man creates his own Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> He's not heavy enough. Come on, Buzz. Just grab a comically large anvil. Come on, dude. <laughs> you can do it. Genius. Yes. All the chemistry toys ain't no one buying. <laughs> Zerg. Zerg. He's releasing Zerg. That is such a... F dude, this movie's fucking amazing. It's the elevator. Do you ever want to do this as a kid? Just like crawl through the vents and like get trapped in the elevator? No, I have claustrophobia, remember? Come on, Jack, she's <laughs> done with the program. <laughs> I'm tight, everyone. I'm going to let go of the wall. <laughs> oh my god. He's so stupid. Oh. Yo! He's got it, bro. That is so funny. I love how the world bends to his will. Like He's just that powerful. The high riding is rooting tooting this cowboy hero of all time, Sheriff. Yo, oh, this damn. is- Yeah, I remember- Oh yeah, he's looking all slutty, bro. Look how slutty. <laughs> Buzz! I had a feeling it was you, Buzz. Damn. I had a feeling it was- He's been acting weird this entire time, and they're even questioning it for a second. Woody's Roundup! Oh, it's this great old TV show, and I was the star. See, now look, look, look at me. See that <laughs> I started watching my own YouTube videos. <laughs> you know what? They're actually fire. They're actually just good stuff. At least give him the kiss from Bo Peep. I'm still thinking about it. Kiss him. You are a toy. Yo, they ran it back. They ran it back. That's what he You're said right. to him in the last movie. You only worth living if you're being loved by a kid. Dude, nah, that's kind of, I don't know. That Do not sucks, take that actually. sentence and put it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you. Wait, 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 he wait. He needs wait, to wait. get his horse and and the girl and yeah. and the girl. Prospector, how about you? FNAF. FNAF. Is it just me or he does he look way more CGI than like every other toy in this movie? Yeah. I'll tell you what's not fair. Spending a lifetime on a dime store shelf. He's salty. He never had a kid to make him happy. Nobody wanted to play with Stinky P. He got no bitches. Look at the time. I'm gonna be late. No figures. I can't miss this flight. I gotta pack. All right, let's see. Oh my God, this shit gets so intense, bro. Yeah, and then it's through the airport. Especially all, a lot of these early Pixar movies were so good at creating just cr super interesting set pieces. Yeah, the Zerg! This is the moment oh, from the no. beginning! See, this is the beginning of the movie! Oh my god! That toy actually does go kind of hard. This is awesome! How many fucking balls does that thing come with? Infinite, bro. <laughs> you killed my father! I am your father! Star the Wars! The Star Wars! <laughs> the Star Wars reference before they were played out. Prepare to die! Ah, I can't look! <laughs> Bro, he's dead. Dude, this, this movie is so efficient. Even like Rex has a character arc. Yeah. Like, he was reading the fucking, the manual and then he defeats Zerg. Like this movie is so good. Buzz, are you coming? No, I, I have a lot of catching up to do with my dad. <laughs> 
Yo! <laughs> Let's go! I did not remember this at all, man. They lived happily ever after. Yeah. Oh, the aliens yo. are back, yo! Why did it say yo on the back of the car? Oh, so it's originally a Toyota, but all of the letters have fallen off, and that's how they get away with it. Final boarding call there he is. They really just drove a whole fucking car in this movie. Dude, that means he must be pretty damn strong, like, to turn the wheel with, like, that small of a body. Like, how? No, Buzz is really strong. Yes, oh, this scene. I loved this. Oh. I loved this as a kid. Bro, as a kid, didn't you want to ride in it? You wanted to go inside the thing? Yes. I wanted to. Yes. Oh, this is how camera equipment goes missing. Oh, okay. Toys get into the suitcases. Okay, Woody. Let's go! Oh, oh damn! <laughs> Holy shit! He's got a crazy uppercut. He got a punch! Old man's packing heat, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. Does he have like an actual like metal pick? Like what is that shit made out of? <laughs> Dude, that guy's camera equipment, Dude, though. It's, it, that was like $10,000 at least. Yeah, especially <laughs> when this came out. I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. Poppy what? variety, specifically. <laughs> yeah, where's the Poppy's playtime toys, bro? Yo! Oh. This is the wholesome ending. This is the wholesome ending. He got a lady, dude. Holy. He got a lady. Hi. You like Amy. <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's not that bad. Oh, this is just like the first movie. They're running after the car. But they are aiming for the truck this time. But that human looked scary. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the difference in like quality of like rendering when we go from this to the third movie is gonna be fucking insane. It's astronomical. Excuse me, ma'am, but I believe you're on the wrong <laughs> flight. Motherfucker, so he's goofy with it. One, two, too late. Put him on the next flight. They have to jump off the fucking plane, dude. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, this is not okay. Yeah, th this shit just keeps escalating. You think that they're done? You're like, w finally, we've made it past this obstacle. Then they're like, no, this obstacle. It's literally <laughs> escalating. They are going into the fucking air. Dude, if this was real, they would get sucked into the jet engine and instantly die. <laughs> no, his arm. What's a cowboy without his hat? How fast is this fucking horse? It's fast as fuck, dude. So cool. That was fucking beautiful. Cinema. That was cinema right there. That was amazing. And then another plane comes behind it and crushes them to death. <laughs> that, would be so, that would be hilarious if that happened. <laughs> Bad partner. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I was almost right! Bro, they post for the thumbnail right here though. Yeah, true. It's too dark. Nah, bro, you can brighten that shit up. Well, I guess he thinks his mom did it. I think his mom spent like a fucking like two hours trying to write that out on the fucking etch a sketch. What? They drove that thing back? That's not suspicious at all? Like, hello? <laughs> the neighbors are like, what is this doing out here? Oh, he did it himself. He fixed it himself. <clears throat> well, I just want to say you're a bright young woman with a beautiful yarn full of hair. A hair full of yarn. It's, uh... Oh, oh. He's trying his best. He's trying his best. He's really into Woody, but he doesn't want to admit that he's gay. So, like, she's the next best thing because she looks just like him. He needs to go out back for a little private time. That critter needs help. Damn. Yo, she's. What, Tony? So cool. Cross <laughs> 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 joke is crazy. Oh, this movie's good. <laughs> Oh, what is going on? Dude, the potatoes are freaky in these movies, though. Can we talk about that? <laughs> they are. So adorable. No, he has kids now. <laughs> He's just trying to f his wife. I think I feel a song coming on. Yes. Oh my God. Yo. The musical. He's so cool. You've got a friend in me. Yes. Oh, damn. Giga Chad. Holy. The Frank Sinatra <laughs> version. You've got a friend in me. Bro, they're they're kind of glazing it though. This is the second time they've sung this moment. This song in the movie. It's so gas though. It's it's such a good song. Wait, new kid just dropped. <laughs> new kid what just dropped. What the fuck? For infinity and beyond. Bro, uh, this is my favorite relationship. Till death do us part! He literally <laughs> said till death do us part. They're fucking saying their wedding vows right here. <laughs> Wheezy though. Bro, Wheezy's got it. Wheezy stands we're winning. Wheezy stands we're winning. Let's let's be real here. Police brutality, bro. Starts off with police brutality. Beautiful. Well, maybe potato guy deserved it. We don't know what he did. Trolls! Oh my god, it's a reference to trolls. Is that the Fortnite car? Oh no, that's just a Corvette. When are they adding the aliens from Toy Story to Fortnite? 
A uh, million light years beyond. A million light years beyond? Is that what you said? I don't even know what the thing is or whatever. No, he says, to bed, bath, and beyond. They got a great sponsorship deal. You're going to jail, Bart. Ah, watch out! Dude, your mom's caught you f***ing lacking, bro. This is embarrassing. This is f***ing embarrassing, dude. Oda foreshadowed this because this is why he gets rid of the toys later on in the film. Make the call. <laughs> See, they're so flirty. Um, I forgot they were dating. It, it's basically the Star Wars dynamic. Like, Buzz Lightyear is, like, Han Solo. And, like, Woody is Luke. But Luke, like, kissed his sister at some point. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's that sort of relationship. It happens to the best of us. Hello? Yeah, so they've been out of work for years. Like, Andy's in his teenage years. Yeah, like, they don't know what to do no more, bro. I hate all this uncertainty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Now, wait a minute. Quiet. No one's getting thrown out, okay? I kind of wish they went down the Andy seeing how much he can sell his toys on eBay for a route. That would be fucking crazy. He realizes he has a very rare copy of Woody. Well, Woody is rare, right? Yeah, he is extremely rare. Come on. Let's see how much we're going for on eBay. Wait, what? They just mentioned how much we're going for on eBay. They, they just brought it up. They are going to sell themselves. Holy shit. <laughs> They're going to sell their bodies on eBay. Anything you're not taking to college either goes in the attic or it's trash. Mom, I'm not leaving till Friday. Why is his voice, he hasn't, his balls haven't dropped yet? Listen to him. Did you have someone in your ear, like, telling you to drop your balls faster when you were growing? Your balls had better drop soon. Isn't that sad that the pig gets the coins taken out of him? Well, I mean, actually, he might be happy for him. He just lost some weight. Oh, his favorite, his two favorite white boys. <gasps> No way. Dude, Buzz is gonna kill himself. That's brutal. You need a hand? I got it. Here. Oh no, I remember this. Oh my god. They get accidentally put in the thing, then they're going to the demon. The fucking bitch mom ruins everything. Fuck! I can hear the garbage truck! I said, those plastic bags are so good looking, bro. I want to eat them. What? Do we got to put like four-year-old hazard signs on this video? Do not eat plastic bags. <laughs> they died. Buzz Lightyear died. That's it. The movie's over. That was a great short film. <sighs> you tell me they didn't lose a single guy during all that? Someone had to die. At least sacrifice a fucking alien, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, this movie's losing ratings for this one. <laughs> Sunny side. Oh, they're gonna go to Sunny side, and they're gonna be like, um, is it sunny in here, or is it just me? New toys. Yeah! Bro, they just jumped into the amazing digital circus. Oh my god, this is giving digital circus. There's not nearly enough saturation and vibrancy for this to be digital circus. Yo, editor, pump up the saturation 50 percent. <laughs> First thing you gotta know about me, I'm a hugger. Ew. I mean, look, he has like a pickaxe-shaped tool similar to the other guy. It's the same villain, bro. It's the same villain as what? As the last movie. Remember the old guy with the pickaxe? It's symbolizing like a similar thing here. So, who's ready for Ken's dream tour? Ken's like extremely gay in this movie. I don't know why. Like, look at him. The ascot is beautiful. Hi, I'm Ken. Barbie. Isn't this crazy? This is like how our grandparents met. Hi, I'm Ken. Barbie, would you like to marry me and live in this house that I bought for $20,000 working as a gas station employee? Barbie, come with me. Live in my dream house. I know what's crazy. I know we just met. White people. That's all white people. This is all white couples, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You're saying like we meet them and then get married like within like five minutes. Like, that's what it is, man. Why don't you stay? Yeah, Woody. Stay with us. Come on, Woodster. We'll get played with. Yeah. Woodster. I would not stay if someone called me Woodster, bro. Bro, you know what they say, bro. Woody's got wood. Bullseye? No, I said stay. Dude, this is the most depressing scene. Me putting down my dog. <laughs> Wait, was that a chat message? No, yeah, I was in chat. I was in chat. You're my favorite deputy. Bonnie. Coming. I just re realized, like, I kind of forgot. Like, all the schools I went to as a kid are demolished now. Did you cause, like, a Chernobyl accident? Yes, I, I did something. I did something in those bathrooms, bro. It was... He did a devious lick. He did a devious lick and licked them from fucking existence, dude. Move over, Mr. Prickle Pants. We have a guest. You want some coffee? Oh, these are the characters. These are the characters? Wait, one of these is voiced by Mabel from uh, Gravity Falls. The rhinoceros is Mabel. Yeah, the Triceratops. I know where to hide. 
Oh, Totoro! Totoro! That's anime. That's fucking awesome. That makes sense because uh, John Lasseter is like a huge Ghibli fan. Like he's a huge Miyazaki fanboy. How do we get up there? All right, everyone. On three. Do many of you guys actually like the Jess Year ship? Was that like this movie or next movie or something? This movie. Okay, so how would I know if I haven't seen the movie before? Well, they're dating or whatever. Oh, I thought we were talking about a real ship for some reason, like a like a spaceship or something. <laughs> Come on, Romeo. We're late. This is like the, the back rooms of fucking of toys, bro. They're, he's going to like the black market. That's such a skibbity, 8-bit, um, built by gamers moment. You said a lot of words there. <laughs> but Toy Story actually had a back rooms. Wait, what? No, think about it. In Toy Story 3, when Buzz goes through the vent, where does he end up? Um, just a hallway. Not just any hallway. A hallway with a vending machine. <laughs> you got a little key to Ow. yourself, didn't you, Ken? Hey, lay off, Twitch. Twitch? Oh my god, that's where we are right now. Live on Twitch.tv. TV slash spilling the milk. Where's kick? We'll be lucky if they last us a week. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> the baby. It's like, wait, I just want to gamble with you guys, please. They had him gagged, bro. Daddy moment. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is this? Like, they're about to start fucking pulling off his fingernails. Guantanamo Bay torture chamber, and then Woody's just chilling and vibing with relaxing music. This isn't how we treat our guests. If they owe my Schwartz. Oh my Schwartz. Gaslighting, beautiful. Good cop, bad cop, bro. No! No! What was that? This is crazy. Oh my god. That's genuinely terrifying. They just lobotomized him. Oh my god, dude. The plot twist is crazy in this episode. When you think about it, Lotso, Lotso's kind of like Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Is he? Yes. They're neutralized. But remember, they'll say anything to make you doubt yourself. Buzz is literally built for toxic yaoi. You know what I mean? Like, he's built with a button on his back that makes him subservient to another man. Every fucking movie is just Buzz turns stupid. There's always one way that Buzz, like, gets back to his factory reset. In the last movie, they just replaced Buzz with, like, a factory reset version of himself. And this one, they just lobotomize him. Yeah, I knew lots of He was a good toy. Oh, God. The dementia patient. They did everything together. I've never seen a kid in a toy more in love. Did you guys ever have a teddy bear growing up, or were you like a different type? What what, what was your guys' favorite toy growing up? I, I I had just a little cow. I have a small cow. Can you guess its name? Can you guess its name? Moo. <sighs> this right here. Oh, you got another cow too? This is me. Oh, I don't like toys. She replaced all of us, didn't she? Guys, we're missing the sad, dark backstory. Did the baby... We were distracted from the toy story by telling our toy story. <laughs> Bonnie found me, took me home. Other toys, they weren't so lucky. Isn't it fucked up that what Bonnie does? Bonnie just goes to the fucking daycare and starts stealing the toys from there. That's what she does. She takes the broken ones and fixes them. She's the goat. You went from, damn, that's fucked up to she's the goat in like one sentence. <laughs> Can we talk about how Woody is wasting no time? He's going for a fucking speed run this scene. God damn. This is fucking crazy. He cleared that shit in like five seconds, dude. Oh, the phone. This guy's goaded. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Poor fella. Trash truck comes at dawn. Then it's off to the dump. Jesus Christ. Smart fella. Fart smella. Fart smella. He's a fart smella. The monkey. Eye in the sky. The fucking monkey. Dude, that bunny's dead, bro. This is so sad. That's Mr. Potato Head to you, smoothie. Yeah, well. Turn out to be quite stupid monkey. Stupid idiot. We hyped up the monkey so hard and that's all it took. <laughs> the monkey is fucking terrifying. I remember he did scare me as a kid. The monkey with the symbols toy just is a scary toy. You never play Call of Duty Black Ops, bro. That's a lifesaver right there. It is true. <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! Rawr! The ass focusing on the can ass is crazy. Damn. Hey, you can't hit each other, that's my job. Yoo-hoo! 
just so easy to escape. To be fair, they have a lot of experience working together, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't walk in here and it's their first time doing this, you know what I mean? Like, these are pros, okay? You're talking about real bona fide professionados, okay? <laughs> This is fucking awesome, bro. This is peak fiction right here. Is this like body horror, technically? This is Mexican face right here. <laughs> Mexican face. This is racism. You can't make me talk. You can't. But I'd like to see you try. <laughs> bro, he's, he's into it, bro. He's into it. He's in love. I don't know. Fuck any heist movie, dude. Ocean's Eleven fucking sucks compared to this. Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is not a heist movie. It sounds like one. It, yeah, no, it is not. It is not. <laughs> oh, Barbie! Those were vintage! Oh my god. Wait, why'd she have to take his clothes off? To add to the humiliation. Hey! Oh my god. Bro's dying. Tortilla versus pigeon. That's what I've been waiting for, bro. No! Oh shit. <laughs> Quick, open his back. There's a switch. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. They're flicking his piece up, bro. They're holding him down and they're gonna pick Buzz Lightyear into returning to normal. Bitácora espacial. The Spanish Buzz Lightyear the goat, though. Enemigo. They should have made the Lightyear movie just about this specific Buzz. We gotta switch him back. Well, how do we do that? I don't know. That part's in Spanish. Oh, we don't have time for this. Come on, El Buzzo. <laughs> El Buzzo. That's like every white dad. <laughs> El Buzzo, what are you doing? Mi florecilla del desierto. Yo nunca había visto la verdadera belleza hasta esta noche. <laughs> She's like, what? What is he saying? Like, she does. He has no idea. She can't see the subtitles. Yo, pickle! They turned him into a pickle! They turned him into a pickle! No fucking way, dude! <laughs> That's so stupid. My God, not not this, not this. The Riz is crazy, yeah, like his dance, oh my god. Eden, you're probably the most knowledgeable. How authentic is this? No, it's a very authentic Spanish accent. I think they probably had to have gone to Spanish guy. Oh, I meant like the courting activities. <laughs> okay, climb across. Jesus, jump scare, bro. How did bro come here? Yeah, like how did he get there, bro? Speak of the devil. type of garbage runs in the middle of the night? Jesus Christ, you're right. Oh my God. I can't support this movie anymore. They got a special garbage man for the nighttime. Whoa, you want your mommy back? Yo. He gaslit his little brother, bro. Waiting to be thrown away. That's all a toy is. Yes, oh my yes, God. kill him. Oh my God. Oh my God, I did not expect this. Holy shit. It's like Darth Vader pushing Emperor Palpatine. God, Woody. God damn it. They have to get Woody, bro. Woody came for them, so they have to go for Woody, bro. Do you think the people at Pixar like watch videos of children getting stuck in garbage contraptions to like- Wait, is that a thing that's out there? Well, Disney has his own like proprietary live leak service of like children that got stuck in the machines at Disney or something. Well, I mean, they do shoot like quality reference footage for everything. So that would make sense. Oh my god, he's so goaded. Oh my god, dude. I need him. I need him. What the fuck? She's gonna be less attractive to him when he goes back to normal. <laughs> Anyone see him? Over here, y'all. I found him. He's good now. He's nor I mean, good. I mean, he's um English. Oh my god, he's greening out. Hey, guys, no, no, no! Oh my god! Oh my god! They just got hit by a car. That was such a visceral scream from Mrs. Potato Head. She was like, "My babies!" and then death. Like that's crazy. This is so creative. Like, how do they, like... This is so cool. Yeah, I love this. Oh, my God. Fuck you, Lotso. Get him. Leverage. Leverage. Oh, my God. Go. Go. Hit the button. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he's evil. He's fucking evil to the end. He's a bad bear. Holy fuck! They're gonna fucking die! They're gonna burn to death! Oh my god, they're accepting their death! 
This is insane! The mortality! Oh my god. Hold your hand. Hold Rex's hand, bro. Hold his hand. Hold his hand, Woody! Oh my god! Dude, the expressions are so good. Hold your boyfriend, bro. Hold your boyfriend's hand. One last time. The claw. Yo! Claw machines are good for something, bro. They didn't kill the aliens. Oh my god, no way. Whoever works here is gonna pull up and be like, why are there all this fucking trash? I know what you mean, Core, but I feel like if you work as a, like a, a trash man and you show up to your job, I feel like you shouldn't be surprised that there's trash there. What you got? I had me one of these when I was a kid. <laughs> Ew. How does he still smell like strawberries after all that? Oh my god. He fucking deserves it, bro. Wait, I'll check. And he's still packing. He's still packing, bro? Of course he's packing, bro. Have you seen that guy? And he's always packing, bro. There you go. Ah, buzz. You got a friend in me. Woody's not ready for beer yet, bro. Dude, they're gonna use you as a bong in college, bro. Get out of there. <laughs> What is he doing? Yeah, what the- He's saying, look in here! Are we gonna know what it says? Oh, he's gonna drop them off to the other girl, so they don't have to be in the attic. Oh, wait, he get, it's the address. It says the address on it, doesn't it? I need someone really special to play with them. This is the sad scene. Are you are you making like like movie commentary for autistic people where you tell them how they're supposed to feel in the moment? Feel sad now. Rawr. <laughs> a lot of people who are watching this movie watch the original Toy Story as a kid and they have a younger sibling who is probably watching the movie with them. They're passing on the legacy so we can make Toy Story movies forever and make a lot of money. It's beautiful. Oh, that makes sense. You're right. I can't wait till Toy Story 10 comes out. Woody? What's he doing in there? Oh, no. No, he can't. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> He's actually like, no, mine. This is mine. You can't have this one, loser. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. How do you know this? How do you know this, though? You never talked to Woody. Shut up. I'm like moments away from crying. Oh, oh, so now, now you know what it's like. Whenever you ruin every single scene we watch on the channel, you know what it's like. <laughs> no. He said goodbye. No, dude, he's gonna cry. The musical theme, like, kind of sounds reminiscent of the song that plays uh, when it's during Jesse's backstory. So that's why I'm crying. So long, partner. If I saw this in movie theater, bro, I would be crying so hard. I mean, I did cry when I watched this. But that's like Pixar. Like, they've got, like, like a machine that, like, zaps you until you cry when you watch a movie. <laughs> John Lasseter, my goat, he doesn't miss. He did not miss those assault allegations. I hope they make it back all right. Holy shit, that rain looks so realistic. No, this movie is so realistic. The texture quality of everything is on like another level. I watched this. I was like, holy fuck. They put moisturizer on all the toys. <laughs> no! It's kind of gross wet. It's like goopy. It's mud, yeah. Look how fucking realistic it looks. Oh no. How is the dog like not screaming in pain right now, writhing? Yeah, ouch! We'll sneak in the hedges before he's back. Woody, it's okay. Woody, it's okay. What? Why is she killing herself? She's ready to die. Wh what? It's time for the next kid. You aren't going to a kid's house, I'll tell you that much, bro. You aren't going to a kid's house. We're not aiming for the kid. Yeah, so they've been broken up for a long time because Andy was a kid. Oh, wait, this is a flashback. I'm so stupid. Yeah, this is a flashback. It was just so realistic that I thought it took place in the future. <laughs> okay, my choice. Oh, Barbie. Women have rights and men have no rights. Men watching this movie be like, we failed, bro. Like, come on. I don't know. I don't keep count. No, you don't have to. That's TikTok magic man from Yu-Gi-Oh. What the? Why did they have him in the show? What are you doing back there? 
Come on, we, we have to go. Isn't that crazy that he's not the one that says places everyone anymore? He's kind of like your grandpa who's like a little bit senile. He has to give up a lot of those responsibilities that he'd normally be in charge of. Yeah, and move to Florida. That's like what he's gonna do. Yeah, and he's gonna move to Florida. Toy Story 5, Woody goes to Florida. Oh, she's scared of other people. Bro, this is so me. She's so neurodivergent and so like awesome coded. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, so that was like a non-living thing and he created life from it. Is she about to make Sporky? Yes, this is Woody's child, basically. Woody supplied the materials and she- Stop, stop! I apologize to the Toy Story community for that one. So even Woody's surprised by this, bro. So this must be like a new concept. Did they do to describe why he exists? What, because she made him with love? <gasps> Trash. Shh, no, no, it's okay. Trash. Okay, this guy must be really confused though, like straight up. Like he was not alive and now he has a whole conscious and shit. Like, well, because he was trash. He was trash and now he's become sentient. It's fucking weird. Forky. Come on, let's eat some breakfast and hit the road. I feel like Woody's trying to assert himself in this situation. Like he want, he wants to have a kid that loves him as much as Andy. He's doing it for the spork, but he's really doing it for himself. Yeah, he's so selfish. Let's be honest. Don't you wanna see your son come up these miles? Bro, Randy Newman sings new song challenge. Like, he completed. Holy shit. I can't- It took him four movies to sing a different song. I like that Randy Newman's songs progressively get harder to understand. Nah, man, nah, man, nah, man, nah, man, nah, man, nah, nah, nah. Okay, this movie's just making me realize like how amazing this country we live in is when you don't have to be the one driving. When you're just in the backseat playing Game Boy, bro, it's the life. Want me to take the next watch? There's just something so awesome about two bros, two amigos, you know, chilling on a road trip. Two consensual, like, uh, platonic bros. I'm litter freedom! Oh, the dolly zoom. Dude, me, when I notice a film technique that I know the name of, that's that one film technique that I know the name of. This movie in particular, they did a lot of stuff with like rendering like real camera lenses. This movie looks fucking gorgeous, dude. This movie is like insane. Why do I have to be a toy? Because you have Bonnie's name written on the bottom of your sticks. Dude, he's a fucking spork. Like he can't survive all of this wear and tear, dude. Like he's some sticks and a spork. He's not going to live very long realistically. Like he's got maybe like six months in him at most. Forky, look. Bonnie's right over there. <gasps> Hurry! Did he, like, gaslit him into, like, wanting, like, to be Bonnie's, like, toy or whatever by saying, like, you're the trash, bro. Like, you're the trash. You're the guy. Like, you think you're the toy? You're not even the trash. We be selling ass. Yeah. My ex used to have this lamp forky. Woody has so much fucking trauma from his ex relationships. Like, he's just so hung up on shit. Like, move on. Bro, I would be too if it was Bo Peep. Like, damn, bro. Is that both? It's slappy from uh, fucking Goosebumps, dude. This is actually a horror film. Jordan Peele produced this. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I forgot about that character. I forgot about the twist villain. I, I mean, sorry. Normal villain. My bad. I haven't seen Bo in years. May I ask, when were you made? Me? This is very much like the start of Narnia. Whenever, like, the kid goes in and that evil, like, snow witch comes and, like, picks him up. I thought in Narnia they go in the closet and they're like, Whoa! They do go in the closet. Hey, there's a snake in my boot. Listen to that. They're trying to take out his organs, bro. This is creepy. They're trying to steal his voice. It's fucking insane. This this is like one of the scariest villains, bro. Inside there. Go. You literally wandered into the worst fucking place. But first, I'm gonna sing a little song. Stupid little girl, bro. What did the kid do? They got Forky, bro. Can't he just make a new Sporky? Like, it's pretty easy to make a new one. I can't find I feel like this is kind of like an extreme level of dependence on your toys. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's extremely neurodivergent. <laughs> no time to explain. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, Buzz is stupid ology in this movie. Yeah, why? Well, he's really dumb again, bro. This is like... They don't even like explain why he's stupid. He's just stupid for no reason. Like, because all the other movies give an excuse to why he's dumb again. But this one's just kind of like lazy. Is that, is that Sid? He was the, the trash guy in the, in the third or second movie and now he's here. Now he's a carny, bro. Harmony. 
Honey, sunscreen. Okay. Can you imagine what it's like to live in the middle of nowhere? Like, children used to actually go outside and play. Oh, my God. Shut up, old man. Jesus Christ. I want to live in a 15-minute city in my pod, okay? And I, no one can stop me. Then how about you go fucking kill yourself like Forky? Because that's never going to happen, you fucking asshole. How are you today? Do you like riding horses? No way! The bad thing, the bad thing, yeah. This bird is mad. See, fam. Oh my god. I can't believe it's so you. I never thought I'd see you again. What if he found that her and then he just realized that it's like not the same Bo Peep? Like it's just a different version of the same toy. Well, she's literally dressed up like the, you know, the woman who does this, like, I can be a woman and I'm strong. You know that picture? How long have you been out on your own? Seven fantastic years. Seven? Oh my God. What are you saying, oh my God, to? She's been homeless for seven years, basically. Woody, you are gonna love this. Uh, no, I can't. They did not have to make her this thick, though. Like they just didn't have to do that. Chat's onto something, bro. She's literally built like Kim K, bro. Like, what the fuck is... She's wearing skims, bro. Bonnie needs him to get through kindergarten. Oh, kids lose toys every day. Woo! All right. I hate this movie now. Like, legitimately, like, I don't want to watch this. The sexualization of Bo Peep has gone too far. I've been practicing. How do I look? Is this, like, the parasocial relationship? Like, me watching Razzle to figure out how to react. Like, parasocial relationship from the toys perspective is crazy. <laughs> Wait, how did he get tied up there again? Because uh, the stoner guy found him. Oh, it's Key and Peel, Dude, Key and Peel voice these guys. Child to shower you with unconditional love? Join the club, pal. Dude, yeah, these must be the most depressed toys ever. You're just hanging there, bro. This is kind of like the Jesus Christ of toys. Like, you're nailed at the hands for all of eternity. The whole gang's still together. Well, I'm, I mean... Most of us. Yo, why does this look like I'm following Kratos in God of War right now? The motion camera, the fucking RTX lighting, like, oh my god. Oh, shit. Three, yeah! That's how long we've been hanging up there waiting for a kid. Yo, he's on the bottom, though. Is this the gay light year kiss that I'm about to watch? Yeah, it's the gay kiss, yeah. But it was toys, so it's chill. But when they made them real people... Holy shit, they showed a dead one. Mutilated corpse. That's actually awesome though. You better hope the dummies didn't see. Jump scare, dude. Jesus. It got me a little bit. Like, I wasn't expecting it. It's the only way inside the cabinet. You can't be serious. Who was the first toy to be on this earth? The Venus of Willendorf, bro. Oh, yeah. The Venus of Willendorf. How could I have forgotten? Let me look it up. Don't look it up on stream, bro. Don't look it up on stream. Whoa! Woody's back? And you're sure it's Bo Peep who's with him? Yeah, I like how it's not a twist villain in this movie, so it's not like a really obvious and annoying when Lotso fucking is evil. Wait, Lotso was evil? No, 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 no. Hi, Tinny. Oh, yo, this is an old guy. This is one of the old guys. He's from like their first short or like one of their first shorts. Yeah, this is like the Pixar vault right here, bro. Oh, Freddy Fazbear. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is in this movie. I forgot. <laughs> He's so tall. He's Canadian. Oh my God. You didn't tell me you guys had a superhero. And our superhero is Keanu Reeves. Can we do any better? And you are the toy to do it. No. Dude. Nope. What is just a side character in this movie now? Dude, what he, what he's literally like complaining to the waiter like like this is, you're letting your girlfriend complain to the waiter because her fucking steak was cooked like well done. Like you're just sitting there like you tell him, honey. Can you do the jump? Yes, I Canada. Bro, he is giving like people with blue eyes right now. What tells you that? He's beautiful. You really don't think you'll ever be in a kid's room again. You think there's a video of Woody in it? Don't put that in the video, don't put that in the video, don't put that in I made that video, bro. What? The Drake video is a deep fake. It was originally a Toy Story video. What's new, pussycat? What's new, pussy? Yo, this is awesome, bro. If we were toys, this would be our story. Like, I self-insert as Gabby Gabby in this film. Wait, it's an actual fork? Does none of these toys know what a fucking spork is? Nope. Did they not go to fucking school? Okay, we can go now. No. That was like a YouTube cup. <laughs> yeah. You're my favorite deputy. Oh no, he's gonna rip it out of him. It's gonna be like gore and like his voice box is just gonna rip through his clothing. Oh, oh wait, I was right. <laughs> Get away from her boyfriend, bro. They are all up in Woody's guts right now. Get away from her twink boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Death. Yo, tell me why that cat looked exactly like Puss in Boots for a second, though. That was Puss in Boots animation, bro. We don't have Porky! Woody! 
Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Forky. This is fucking un so annoying. We are wasting time. We can do this. No one cares about the fucking spork, bro. Just make a new one. <laughs> Why? Because it's all I have left to do. Oh. I was feeling a low point. I was like, where's my low point? You're codependent, bro. Something a lost toy wouldn't understand. Something a little slutty toy wouldn't fucking get, Bo Peep. Fuck you. Oh my god, they're never getting together. Ah! Oh my god, bro. What is up with the jump scares in this movie? <laughs> it's a horror film. I'm talking Blumhouse directed this. Mr. Blumhouse. With Jason Blum, bro. Jason Blum. I'd give anything to be loved the way you have. Damn, she's trauma dumping. You should stab her through the heart with the pencil right now. Okay, looks like we have everything. You good, Bonnie? Yep. You're dumb, bro. Kids are not gonna remember. Her parents are so nerd emoji, dude. Uh, uh, your backpack's in the antique store. Let's go! Oh no, my backpack! What? He just said it! What the fuck? What the fuck? That's actually so funny. I forgot about that. Wait, they, they, can, they can do that? Like, what? They can just do that. Let's play all day. Oh, Vincent. Did you hear that? Ooh, I don't like that at all. You just took a part from him. She doesn't want you, little bro. She literally doesn't want you, though. That's so fucking weird, dude. Holy shit. No, 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 Woody, look. It's really happening. Orky doesn't want to be there, bro. Oh my god, he's gonna learn to let go. Woody's gonna learn to let go. <laughs> the plot twist, bro. Uh, that was so satisfying. Now please leave him in there so he doesn't get lost again. Dude, no one likes you anymore, dude. Harmony liked him, bro. Harmony liked him. Who cares about Harmony? Absolutely. What is a merry-go-round? He's leaving the bag, bro. He's leaving the bag, bro. Thousands of dollars. He's left. He's leaving the bag behind, bro. My time's over. Now please go away. We're not done. What do you should be voiced by fucking anime voice actor, or dub voice actor? Brian Pappenbrook or whatever? Yeah, it should be Brian Griffin what? should voice him. What's up with you lately? You've been acting really weird all of a sudden. Oh, <gasps> she's back. The bad bitch is back. Bad thing. Skibbity wahoo. Wow. Gonna need an alternate route. Will we make it to the carousel in time? I hate how irrelevant the other characters are in this. Well, they're not that relevant on a lot of the other movies. Well, besides Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 is like peak fiction, so like it's hard to beat that. And then Toy Story 3 is like Sugoku Kawaii, but then like Toy Story 4 is like kind of has like a more grounded approach. Another right. Right. Take a the right dude the fucking toys are like so crazy in this movie like they're fucking so heavily manipulating everything it's awesome i honestly fuck with it like they could have gotten them killed he's just gonna fucking murder them what the fuck they're dead they're dead hello hello i think she's lost just throw the kid, hit the kid's head with a toy. You know, it solves the problem because the kid forgets that they were lost and forgets their parents, so they're not upset anymore. Over. The car is tweaking, bro. Like, oh my god. This is everybody driving a Tesla when it needs to update. And that's when I tried loading Minecraft on my Tesla. It just starts tweaking like that. I'm Gabby Gabby. Will you be my friend? <laughs> oh, she needs a friend. Aw. Police officer. Copaganda in my Pixar movie. <laughs> We're gonna find out how much Gabby Gabby's worth on eBay and sell her in an instant. You'll be in a landfill in 10 years. You should tell it to every kid. Like, you're gonna be in a landfill in 10 years. Are we home? Huh? And they're minorities? Dude, this is not gonna go well for them. Dad's totally going to jail. Oh my god. What the fuck? I've got a very important job for you. <gasps> for me? Night. What? They just let him go. Oh my fucking god. This is actually the biggest plot hole in the movie, low-key. This isn't a cop story, it's a toy story, so remember that. I'm, uh, 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 I'm glad I got to see you again. This scene hits, like, oh my god. Dude, I don't remember what happened, so this is like watching it for the first time. The friend hug. You're such a good friend, Woody. Why doesn't Bo Peep come with him? She, she likes being a girl boss, like she likes being alone, having no man, you know? Bonnie. We'll be okay. What? Woody literally just said, it's time Listen for to me to have my own Toy Story. Five. He's supposed to be gay with Buzz and this fucking pisses me off, like honestly. It's straight to Gander right now, I'm not gonna cap. You say goodbye to Andy, and you say goodbye to the toys. What's the next thing to say goodbye to? Life? The world, bro, the world. 
dude. This is so sad. I watched it with my mom, and then I was holding in my tears during the scene, and th and then I went to my room and cried. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think that that Woody was gonna go solo mode. You know what I mean? What do you mean, bro? He's got a duo. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe it, bro. To infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. One million sequels. Infinity sequels. Never ending sequels. They said the line. It was so sweet that he knew that he was saying beyond. It really was a toy story. For me. In 1995. Whoa, dramatic! In 1995, a boy named Germa. This is that movie. No <laughs> way! <laughs> fucking stupid. This is so corny. So this is really corny. This is the movie in Toy Story. Remember? In 1995, Andy's favorite movie was Buzz Lightyear. Andy's taste in movies was fucking dog shit. I will explore further the oddities of this strange planet. Ah! Ew, what the fuck? Get that fuck. Half-Life 3 sh off my screen. Why does he look like that? That's disgusting. Well, it's like they took the whole thing where it's like, look at these animated characters that we turned into real people. Like the BuzzFeed articles and they were like, what if we made that the aesthetic for an entire movie? She looks kind of different though. Yeah. That could be taken <laughs> in such in like the worst way possible. This feels like it should have been like a mocap animated movie. Mars Needs Moms core for sure. This kind of gives like Dead Space vibes, but if Dead Space was like a cuddly little game for kids. I'm getting Wreck-It Ralph 2 vibes from this. I don't know. I'm getting Lethal Company X Wreck-It Ralph vibes. I'm getting a Lethal Company X other popular video game that comes out at the time of this video being uploaded vibes. Oh my god, he said, look at the veins on his face. Do you see that? Yeah, <laughs> that was so detailed. Look at him. <laughs> oh my god, those there veins on his yeah. forehead. Me pushing out the mother load on the toilet last night. <laughs> this is all mocap. They just filmed Chris Evans taking a massive dump. He's like, do not distract me. I'm going for the no wiper. It's bad, Buzz. No, not the combobulator. We're gonna need to get a new combobulator, Buzz. We need to find the crystal. Who in their right mind would... Oh. Lightyear, that's the title of the movie that we're watching. I'm gonna be honest, there's no way in hell Andy liked this movie as a child. Is this an animated movie? Like, he watched this movie. No, it's a real movie because it's animated in his world. So this is like live action. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I did it, guys. I didn't sing the iCarly theme song. Yay. Blasting off to a new joke. Increasing speed to 0.7 C. He probably shouldn't be that close to the sun. Yeah, no, that's like pretty hot. Um, Buzz, you're getting a little close to the sun there. You're gonna need to back up 50 degrees. He's gonna crash land on another planet nearby, and it's gonna become No Man's Sky. And then on that other planet, there's gonna be a pig, a dinosaur. And we're gonna find out that the reason that he bought all those toys is because it reminded him of the movie. And then they're gonna tie in a bunch of unnecessary stuff into this film to retroactively devalue stuff in the older movies. Whoa. You now have 25 seconds to course correct. You're now Stop counting, please. What the fuck? He's bringing out tools? He knows math? Whoa, he's using a protractor in 2024? I'm a 10-year-old, and I love this movie. I like the long scene where you watch Buzz Lightyear do math on the <laughs> ceiling of his ship. Who wrote this? Think about how many math teachers played that scene in class. Like, you see? You see? It makes sense to know how to do it on paper. It may save your life one day. How did he make it back? Like while the ship was falling apart and the thrusters were disabled. That was nonsense. That was actually fucking nonsense. Commander, are you okay? Whoa. Diaz, you, you grew a beard. Oh my God, there's a Latinx liege. Oh my God, they're playing with time dilation. It's just like Interstellar. How long was I gone? Four years, two months, and three days. Four years? Yo, what, what the holy fuck? Shit. This is insane. <laughs> this is actually insane. Oh my god. Why did they make Pixar Interstellar? That's so weird. You aged only minutes, while the rest of us have aged years. Dude, imagine he imp 
needed a girl the day before he left. Like, that would be crazy. But that's, like, so nice because you get to, like, speed run all, like, the annoying parts of it. You could speed run directly into your retirement benefits. Like, I'm 65. Government, give me money. You're 65 in a 25-year-old's body, bro. That's beautiful. I'm about to be hitting up the retirement home. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I got engaged. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her gay ass name did he say what's her name like instantly like without knowing no he said what's your lesbian wife's name and can you please kiss in front of me hello bud ah! i saw this one at the movie theater whenever this movie was in theaters and then no one bought them because it's shitty fucking ugly cat <laughs> how do they make a cat not marketable like look at this fucking creepy ass thing to me it just looks like they took the five nights at freddy's aesthetic but then put it on like a literal cat negative that would compromise my nutritional regimen Ew, ew, ew. Spam? No, why does shit actually look kind of good? Bro, that's like freaking chum, bro. That's straight chum. <laughs> we zoom out the fucking world and it's just all the chum bucket. Pull up. Pull up. Uh, I got the light here. Do you need my help? No, I can do it. He's having trauma. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. His pull out game's weak. Wait, did he just in the wet dream? <laughs> <laughs> he had a nightmare that his pull out game was weak, bro. He inside the cat let's be honest i'm about to fix that to infinity and beyond they said it <laughs> that's the thing in the fucking other movies that i've seen et fucking touched like he was bonding with an alien Now he missed eight years, bro. She's pregnant. How did she get pregnant? She's gay. <laughs> <laughs> they have impregnation science, bro. This is the future. The gay kiss! Yes! Wait, I, I wasn't even paying attention. Fuck! She died. I thought gay people don't die. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Look at her in the hospital bed. It's just like Interstellar. This is like speedrunning Interstellar somehow. <laughs> Goodbye, Buzz. Damn, so is her child gonna like take her place and then like Buzz is gonna be friends with her kid? Then he watches her die too. It's like free run. I thought you said it's like free guy for a second. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just moving into my new. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, that's his daughter. I mean, son. You got both parts wrong. You said that's his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you think Buzz is a virgin? He's giving virgin like himbo. Yeah, I think so. He spent too much time looks maxing and didn't spend any time socializing. Lightyear. Lightyear! The kid wants to like stay on the planet and doesn't want to leave anymore, which I guess kind of makes sense because they've been failing for his entire life. I think Buzz is, he is an enemy to them, bro. He's trying to ruin their things, bro. Like they're chilling there. Wait, this is just going to be like the Invincible episode or like the Rick and Morty episode. Like when he returns, they're all just going to be waiting for him. He's going to hyperspeed again. If this follows logic, then he should be super far in the future. I'm ready to finally leave this planet once and for all. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Oh, Star Command. That's from Buzz Lightyear. Oh, that's the thing that he says. That was a direct reference to the Toy Story franchise. Wait, what's it doing? My ship! What the fuck? That was kind of cool. What? Oh, aliens took over the planet while he was gone. That's hilarious. Cor, I'm sorry, but this movie's not bad. I'm actually pretty interested in what's going on right now, unironically. That's wrong. We weren't paying for like 15 minutes, and then like we pay attention for two seconds. <laughs> and that's why the movie's so good. It's fine, you know, like it's like a six out of 10 for me. Alicia? Oh, oh no, that's my grandmother. I'm Izzy. Izzy? Wait, that was the little girl. Oh my God, the character design was the same. Dude, they're genius. Pixar just did this concept where they, they made someone age and then they killed her off, but then she looks exactly like her mom at the beginning of the movie <laughs> so they could just reuse the model. Pixar is the greatest studio and they'll never fucking lie. Stop <laughs> calling it Pixar. All right, team, fall in. Oh. 
Wait, is that Wally over there on the on the right? This is like Wally if it was good because it has like character dialogue. It's like kind of boring to watch a movie where people don't talk, but in this movie, the characters actually talk to each other. Editor, cut to our Wally video where we're praising it for a long time. Love this movie, bro. It's so good. It's so pretty. Like it just looks so good. I hate Wally. I think it is a terrible disgust. Disgusting film. Editor, delete the files for this video. Editor, shit yourself right now. Did I get it? Pretty close. Sorry, I'm not trained with this weapon. Oh my goodness, that's Taika Waititi. He just is Taika Waititi. They put him in the Snapchat filter. Why is he in this movie? <laughs> Bro, play this clip at like three times speed, bro. This is the slowest action scene I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> play the whole fucking movie at three times speed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This movie went from a six to a four real quick. So they shot him with what? like two paintballs, unscrewed his arm and used a single spear. That's the fault of like advanced alien technology. They can't handle spears. Is this movie gonna break canon? Cause Zerg is in it, right? And we learned in Toy Story 2 that Zerg is Buzz Lightyear's father. Are they gonna hold true to that lore? Or are they gonna break that? If they fucking don't hold true to that lore, I'm giving this a 0.5 star on Letterboxd. Why are y'all treating it like it's some hardcore canon lore? It's a fucking Star Wars reference i'm not a quitter you were quitting what are you talking about i was just going in a different direction yeah the direction of a quitter they just made such a uh, great characters <laughs> great cast that i love this is my reaction to what cor just said everyone grab a weapon all right i'd love to but my parole as a star command officer i grant you emergency authority as star command officer i tell you old person to shut the fuck up you're not funny i've actually this movie's low-key a masterpiece can we put on like um anything else anything else is a 2003 romantic comedy film written and directed by woody allen bro yeah. what? Oh. This is a woody allen movie they don't know about the timer nah, 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 nah. Wait. Oh my gosh, the old lady said you can't see me. That's funny. That's really funny. Why is this movie so lame? I don't know, bro. Yay, they're pushing the fucking ball around. I feel like I'm watching a Fall Guys minigame right now. Wait, this is like when Darth Vader was chasing Anakin. This is how it's gonna get revealed that he's his dad. Or Luke, or whatever, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader is Anakin's father. It's like how Marty McFly is his own father. I know, Grandma wasn't afraid of space. No, because she was a space ranger. Astrophobia is an automatic disqualification. She was a space ranger. Homophobia is cool, but astrophobia? Agoraphoria, Midoria, Euphoria. That song's so fucking good, dude. This is so close to her Bionicles recording, it's insane. <laughs> Need a pen? Got it. Okay, yeah. Another time. I thought he would be like a throwaway character. He's like just a main member of the cast. That pen scene, man. Like, that was hilarious. No, but he brought a pen on the job, bro. He's such a Gen Z. What? This is all wet. Bread, make breads. Too much bread. That would just suck all the moisture out of your mouth. <laughs> she didn't make a joke. Where he just killed the fucking cat because of a joke. It wasn't even a joke. Oh, chicken on rice. That would suck all the moisture out of the chicken. <laughs> It was just a mistake. Right, Buzz? You know, try to be a little better. Is this like alpha male tries therapy time? Like he just told him to be a little bit better. Like that was his answer to his problems. Eden just fell asleep and oh, he's up. This movie's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's hard committing. You know, I'm with you, Eden. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I need you to do me a favor. I need you to look after my best friend. His name is Buzz. Aw, that was actually cute for this movie. That was a really emotional scene and I found it to be very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it's like incapable of feeling emotion, but you watch the movie. I should hold up title cards for you guys and you guys can just like react. <laughs> that would be fucking genius. <laughs> like we don't have to watch the movie. Like we're all sociopaths. We don't know what emotions are. We need someone to constantly tell us. Buzz. What? How do you know my name? I'm your father. That's his father. Thumbnail, that was good. No, the cat, the cat's so sad. You look good, Buzz. Ah! What the fuck? It's still his dad, that what the <laughs> fuck? How did 
does this make sense? No, it's him. It's him from another dimension. He is his own dad. Oh my God, it is just like Back to the Future. Robots can't quite say buzz, so around here I'm just Zerg. Zerg. And I guess so are you. Is that really how that- There's no fucking way that's how they explain it. The robots can't say buzz, so they just call me Zerg. It's the same sound. You're telling me that a robot can't make the sound buzz. I wore my crystal out testing the time travel. Oh my god, this is literally the Star Wars. This is actually the set of where the I am your father scene. Jesus fucking Christ. Bro, he's gonna like jump off the bottom and like fall down. He's gonna kill Buzz. Blah, blah, blah. Just do it. She won't have Izzy. Who's Izzy? Look, she's not gonna miss anyone if she never meets them in the first place. That's true. He's got a point. He's kind of spitting. Is this a villain that actually has a point? Let go of me. No. You've changed. And not for the better. Okay, what's the likelihood that there is Buzz X Buzz out there on the internet? Is there actually? Check the AO3, AO3, look it up. Wait, no, it would already exist because he's met other versions of himself before. But this is like a different dynamic because he's like a daddy older Buzz. Oh my god, there's a lot of light year rule 34. <laughs> there's a video. Oh my god. There's a video? Okay, I'll take a look. If fun, you can describe it. Oh! I just opened that on my school email account. <laughs> You're already me. You just don't know it yet. You're never gonna be you. So what's happening in the movie? Eden, were you paying attention? Yeah, Eden, yeah. You tell us what's going on. It's a very good movie. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Eden soundboard. Buzz. You're not my grandma. I don't need your grandma. I need you. I'm just still very confused about why he like admitted his love for Izzy for like no reason. <laughs> no, it's like what? as a friend or whatever. Dude, she's Cleveland Browning. She's Cleveland Browning. <laughs> oh my god, this is Star Wars, bro. This is like when Luke fell down. I don't remember Cleveland Brown being in Star Wars. Yo, comment down below if we should binge Star Wars. Dude, Star Wars might go hard. Like I don't know. You know, there's nine films and three good ones. Berserk. Why are they fucking retconning this shit, bro? Why couldn't they just say like, I don't know, I got into this new dance move, it's called Zerging, and I just wanted them to call me Zerg, because I'm so into Zerging. Live to die. <gasps> oh my god, that's the thing. Not today, Zerg. That's the part from the movie. That was fucking cool, man. Is this technically the first pro side children's movie? Yeah, he killed himself. There's no way he is gonna pick up the ship. That just does not make sense, bro. Okay, he's gonna pick up the ship. That's cool. He's competing with the entirety of gravity right now. Yeah, the whole planet versus Buzz. Wait, where's your crystal? It's gone. They're gonna restart society. He saved the crystal. He put it in his ass. Just like Morty. He's the Rick to his Morty. Will you be the Rick to my Morty? Oh my God, when I propose to my wife, I'm gonna say, will you be the Rick to my Morty? And then when she says yes, I'll say, wubba lubba dub dub. The wedding ring is a pickle. <laughs> I slide her finger through an entire pickle. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to start a new version of the Space Ranger Corps. Universe Protection Division. Why? I want you to start the UPS. Deliver packages. We're gonna give you ridiculous quotas and no air conditioning. Wait, this isn't the end of the movie, right? We don't know what it is, but we're not gonna wait for it to invade our home. Copy, Commander. You can count on us. Wait, so wait, they did go back in time, right? <laughs> I just don't know what happened at all. Here we go. To infinity. And beyond. Oh my god. This movie, Jack, it's a three-person writing team. One of them is an animator with no writing credits. The other one is the writer for Coco. And then the other one is a writer for Onward. <laughs> they got a team of mid, bro. And if you want to stick a buzz up your light ear, then go to patreon.com slash the milk. Before we say bye, Eden, so any final thoughts? It's a very good movie. I like it a lot. Aromare, Alex McLean. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Hand, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merc, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randall, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rithoka, Quinn Christian, Zam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Valley Explicit, Victoria.